Uh, some viewers sent me this clip yesterday and I want to look at it with you today. Evangelical end times televangelist, pastor, preacher Rick Wiles did a commentary a few days ago where he sort of sounded almost kind of like maybe a populist leftist, certainly a populist, maybe even a populist leftist who wants to uh, take money from billionaires to help the poor. And some in our audience actually got suckered into it initially. But if you actually listen to what Rick Wiles is saying and you understand the context of his evangelical Christian worldview, you realize he's merely being a conspiracy theorist and a nutty one at that. It's plain old fashioned evangelical end times conspiracy theorism, which sometimes can sound like it's left wing populism, but it's not. Now, before we get into the clip, as a reminder, we've talked about Rick Wiles before. He's one of the guys who, during the Trump administration, was talking about a civil war and taking up arms. He's the guy that said the impeachment of Donald Trump is an attempted Jew coup. He said if Donald Trump is removed, there will be violence. I guess he was right about that. The violence was from people on his side. He said vegan burgers are a satanic plot to destroy souls. That's the Rick Wiles I'm talking about. So let's get into this clip. Uh, and you might notice he starts sounding sort of kind of like a left wing guy here. Take a listen. If somebody in America put together a political movement to do two main things, break up the power of the tech companies, I mean, bust them up. Don't just slap their fingers, bust them up, break them up. Like in the monopolies of the early 1900s. Yes, I mean, crush the tech companies, break them up. And to outlaw being billionaires. OK, he says, let's break up tech companies. Let's do antitrust enforcement. That's often a left wing issue, except when they only care about breaking up tech monopolies and ignored the issue of antitrust for decades. And then he said outlaw being a billionaire. That's something many people on the left have talked about. So, so far, right wing televangelist Rick Wiles is maybe appealing to some folks in our audience. But let's continue. We've reached a point. I, I mean, I'm a free enterprise person and, and I, I, I have no um, no ill will towards anybody in their financial success. I, hey, you want to be a zillionaire, a quazillionaire? I don't care. All right. You want to go buy a planet? Go buy a planet. I don't care. But when you use your money and power to change my life, mm. to take away my rights, to try to force things on me that I object to, that I find morally repulsive, when you try to restrict my free speech, when you try to promote population control, you want to pump vaccines into my body, when you want to change society, you know what? You're my enemy. Mm. You're my enemy. And the only way you're able to do it is because you're a billionaire. So then we need to take away your billions. Bill Gates, if he was working a job, seven to five, if he was going to work, like everybody else, Bill Gates wouldn't be doing this stuff, would he? No. He's only doing this stuff because he's a billionaire. Take his billions away. Take it away. We need to do it in this country. There needs to be a populist movement in this country. Let's break up the tech companies. Let's take the billions. Give the bill, give their, I want to take Bill Gates' billions and give it to the poor. So already by this point, if you're a clear thinking, rational person, you should start to say this is this is wacky right wing stuff. It might be dressed up in left populist sounding rhetoric, but this is this is this is wacky stuff. Freedom for everyone until and then he's off the rails. Anti vax conspiracies decrying left wing morality that he claims is being imposed on him. He's already off the rails, but maybe some on the left might still be on board. But then Rick Wiles goes fully into anti-government, anti-tax rants. Take a look. I want to give it to the poor. I want to strip them, completely strip them and give it to the poor. I want Jack Dorsey's money. I want Zuckerberg's money. I want to give it to the poor. 
I don't want to give it to the government. Oh, my gosh. Tax them and, and, and the government get it. No, give it to the poor. Let's take their money and give it to the poor. Let's bust up their corporations. This country would change overnight. So now it's just standard right wing thinking. In, in just a few minutes, he gets into the government sucks. Don't tax anyone. Let's depend on charity to help the poor exclusively. An old trope of the libertarian right. That's all this is. And yet it's another example of how populist sounding rhetoric can fool a lot of people until you get to the solutions they propose and the actions they take. This is the Tucker Carlson syndrome. We can call it random person who doesn't understand what Fox News is, doesn't understand Tucker Carlson's background and all that. They tune into Tucker's show and they hear Tucker ranting about corporations and elites doing bad things to the little guy. And we were told that we were going to have a reinvigoration of the working class and all this stuff. Wow, that, that sounds almost like Bernie. And then it gets to careful. Black Lives Matter might take your house. Brown people coming in from Mexico make the country country dirtier. Literally a quote from Tucker Carlson. It's just another example of that sweet, sweet vocabulary of the populist rhetoric that tricks people. And then you get to the solutions they propose and it's standard radical right wing stuff. Yeah, monopolies are bad. Billionaires are bad. Help the poor. And then, whoa, what just happened here? So there's Rick Wiles calling what I call the uh, uh, pulling what I call the old populist switcheroo and actually tricking some people even in my audience.